the formidable robot. The following text below is from a now deleted Tumblr post by someone named Ivory. Note that contacting Ivory won't lead you anywhere nowadays, since the user hasn't been active since 2014. November 2nd, 2014. Hey everyone, Ivory here once again. I normally don't make these kinds of posts because I'm mostly dedicated to posting art and memes, but I need to get this off my chest. Better to get this over with later rather than never. Now, I'm still not entirely sure if this was some weird and bizarre fever dream I had, or if this had really happened, but I know one thing for sure. The channel was extremely bizarre and well, fucked up, to put it that way. Now for context. My family couldn't really afford cable growing up, so the only kids channels me and my younger sister could really watch was PBS Kids and Cubo. I loved PBS Kids, and Cyber Chase was a personal favorite of mine. My younger sister Leah, on the other hand, was more into Cubo than she was PBS Kids. But still, we didn't really mind not having cable too much. But before I get too off topic and start rambling, let's get back on track here. By the way, this incident happened all the way back in 2007. One day, I was staying home because I had a cold. I was left alone at my house while my sister Leah was at school. And my parents were running some errands and left me home alone because my parents thought I was old enough to stay home by myself. I was 16 at the time. I was scrolling through the very few channels we had, looking for something to watch. I didn't really feel like watching PBS Kids, so I watched a bit of Cubo for an hour. When I eventually got bored of watching that channel, I decided to look deep into the channel guide to see if I could find anything else entertaining that wasn't PBS Kids or Cubo. That's when a certain channel caught my eye. The channel number was 23, which confused me because my family only had 22 channels on the TV, two of them being PBS Kids and Cubo, and the others being local news channels and local stations that aired mediocre sitcoms and the like. I can't remember the channel's name all too well, though I think it was something like Girly Pop. I stared at the channel on the TV guide, holding the remote. Since I wanted to watch something that wasn't PBS Kids or Cubo for once, I clicked on the channel without a second thought. Immediately, there was blaring low-quality pop music, along with a voice that said, Thank you for tuning in to Girly Pop. Watch all your favorite Girly shows right here, right now. The voice boomed. Something was off about the voice. It sounded like a woman had pitched up her voice to the point where she sounded more like a chipmunk. I frantically turned down the volume because I obviously didn't want to go deaf from a shitty TV channel. After a few commercials and bumpers, the channel then began to play an episode of Bratz. I hated, and still do hate, Bratz a lot, but I didn't really feel like changing the channel because I was super tired and weak because of my cold, so I just trudged along and forced myself to watch the Bratz episode. But I noticed something very off about the quality of the episode. It was extremely low quality, like someone just took out their phone and started filming their TV. And the audio sounded so muffled to the point where I could barely make out what the characters were saying. This channel was very obviously some kind of very cheap and bad public access channel. After Bratz was over, a few more shows played, but I fell asleep for a few hours and wasn't really paying attention to what was playing. Well, wasn't paying attention, that is, until I heard a ringing noise coming from the TV. Tired, I slowly began to wake up and look at the TV. And what I saw nearly scared the shit out of me. It was an image of a blonde girl, but something was very wrong. First of all, the girl appeared to have no eyes, thus leaving the place where her eyes should have been blank. Secondly, she had no nose. Her mouth had lipstick on it and was sewn shut, as she smiled as wide as she could. Below the image of the girl was red text that read. I can speak up. I've always remained silent in the shadows. My mother hated me, so did my dad. I never had a childhood. Then the screen went black, and white text slowly faded in on the screen. It was as follows. There is no such thing as a happy childhood. You will always end up miserable, no matter how good you thought your childhood was. I'm tired of pretending to be fine. 
I'm done being an entertainer to people who can't handle reality. True happiness is fake. Goodbye. Before the channel cut to static. I just stared at the TV, my mouth agape. What the fuck did I just witness? I immediately turned the channel to PBS Kids and watched some Arthur and Cyber Chase for the rest of the day to get whatever the hell I just watched out of my head. To this day, I still don't know if that channel was real or how the hell even ran it to begin with. I knew it was a public access channel, which would explain the poor quality of it, but that doesn't explain the fucked up image of the blonde lady with her mouth sewn shut. That doesn't explain that messed up message that I saw at the end. I seriously need some answers. I do have a suspicion that it was my former friend Natalie who made the channel, considering Natalie was good at all stuff relating to television and technology, but she also got emotionally abused by her mom and dad and she had pretty bad depression. If it was Natalie who made that public access channel, then I feel more sorry for her than anything. No one deserves to get abused in any way, shape or form. Please, if you have been abused, or are currently being abused, please talk to someone you trust. There will always be someone there to support you, no matter what.